It also goes out to water the garden. So we do have little signs in our house because we want to make people aware that this is going outside. So we use biodegradable soaps. We don't use toxic cleaners. We use the soap. It's called Oasis. It's actually called biocompatible. So it breaks down into plant nutrients. Gray water is a great time to really rethink what you're putting down the drain. Your dishwashing soap or? Yeah, anything. I mean, dishwashing soap, you know, beauty products, cleaning products. There's a lot of toxins in our world. Now this is the kitchen sink. <laughs> this is an old house, old steel pipes. So we cut into the pipe here, cut into it here, and added these, our adapter couplings, so it goes from the metal to going into plastic. This is a clean out. This is all gravity, so it flows into this new pipe. It drops down, and now it's sloping with a quarter inch slope per foot. So basically, you just need to make sure the water is flowing. With gray water, you want to use, they're called long sweeps. You want to have the long bends because particles and gunk can get up in here and clog. So you want to have the biggest turns possible. So it comes out here. It goes into these double L flow splitters. So the gray water should come in a straight run. When it gets to them, the water splits into two ways. So with this kind of system, it's called a branch to drain. You're basically splitting it as many times as you want to, knowing how much water is going through and how much the plants need. So half of the kitchen sink water comes here, and then it splits again. So this outlet is getting a quarter of the kitchen sink water and you can see there's some food. The kitchen sink is gunky but when it just pours onto wood chips it's not a problem. The worms take care of it. A quarter of the gray water pours down here and it's going to this orange tree and you can see that a lot of stuff comes down the kitchen sink drain and if you try to put that into some smaller pipe or tubing this is going to clog stuff up. When it's out here it's not a problem. I go through with my shovel and every half a year I just shovel out that pile of gunk and throw it in the compost and I just put some more wood chips there. So, you know, it's really not a problem having gunk coming onto a bunch of wood chips. You could even just, you know, dig it in a little bit and put new wood chips there and then it'll compost in the soil. I don't think there's any reason to be, you know, sending perfectly good irrigation water down the drain and also there's no reason we should be putting toxins into our water that's going out into our, you know, the water bodies. So if we educate ourselves and are reusing this in our own yard, it will help less water, less demand on sewer plants, less toxins going into the environment. We can grow food, we can grow beauty in our own yard, and we become more connected to both our land and as well as our water source.